Hello, this is the Spirit Manga 187. Welcome to another match of the Shadow Era where we are playing against a Nishaven. Well, I haven't played Nishaven for a long time or against the Nishaven. We're still on the rating 260 rating points. I'm still trying to climb up where we started. So we've got a pretty quick start with a Christopher Wilde here. It's in a shaven deck. It's been a really long time since I faced in a shaven. Um, I do not think he's playing a lot of weapons or armor, so let's just get rid of that. And we'll enter. So we have started first, and he's second, and he got a very quick drop to Christopher Wilde. Uh, so next turn we probably are going to play the all and the brave it depends on his drop uh, now we're going to play the all and the brave anyways so he's dropping a tome of knowledge for some additional card drawing and nope we're not going to play the all we're going to play the jasmine and we'll end turn let's see what he's going to do about this if he's going to fry it with a fireball or if he let it lets it live um, what would I do in this case well it depends on what he has in his hand but um, I'm guessing he's going to fry it as he wants to save his ability and it will take him another two turns to trigger his ability so we'll just wait patiently He's casting his own Jasmine. Well, that's pretty nice because I'm going to take it down with my Alden. And he attacked my Jasmine. Um, let's just get rid of the Seductress here and play our own Alden and take out his Jasmine. So we've got pretty nice board here. Um, well, he got a Tome of Knowledge in play, but he doesn't want to use it. But next turn. They're all gone, and that's pretty crappy. But uh, yeah, I had to play the Alden because if I didn't and kept disabling his Jasmine, I think he wouldn't trigger his ability yet. But maybe I made an error because with the uh, Jeweler's Dream, I couldn't attack with my ally and with my hero and disable him disable his adjustment so another Christopher Wilde here okay for another damage and we'll just um, skip it play our sport activate our ability attack with it and we're going to disable his Christopher Wilde so we're not going to take any more damage from it and we'll hit him in the face again for some 7 damage so he's down to 16 and these mages do not have a lot of life gain there is one card that says if you have 3 or more allies in your graveyard draw 2 cards and gain 2 life it's one of the only cards uh, you can use as, uh, as life gain so. well what is he going to do? Activate his ability and drop down a sand room or something. Nope. Going to use the Tome of Knowledge. Trigger his ability. Destroying my allies. And play Alden himself. Okay. And that's not a very big problem. We we'll just play our own Alden. Kick him in the face. And play a Puin. And we'll enter. Because I guess he doesn't have another Christopher Wild in his hand or something to take down my Alden before it's able to attack. But he can fry it as well because he's a mage, so he has a lot of burn cards in his deck. Yep, there it is the lightning strike taking down my allies and his Alden. We'll do the rest. Well, that's a nasty card. Nasty card. You bury it, Skullborn. Now I have to make a decision if I'm going for his face or if I'm going for his allies. 
But I think I'm going for his face. Taking him down to 13. And we'll just end turn here. That's, that's a long time ago. I, I saw this card on the board together with an Ashaven. I'm kind of surprised here. Maybe a little bit over rumbled. Because we can still lose this match. We've dealt a lot of damage, but it's still possible that we will lose. There he comes with his Brigid for additional damage, and he's playing a Tainted Oracle. That's not nice. Mm. Let's get rid of our Lane Line Nexus. And um, we are going to cost. Which one shall I cost? We're going to cost this one. Use our ability on the jewel screen and activate on ability and hit him for another four and we'll end turn. So he's gonna then to do some damage as well next turn. He has a lot of resources, so it's pretty tricky what I'm doing here. Going fully for his throat because I'm taking quite a few damage this turn. There's the Oracle, taking it down. Smart from him to attack with the Oracle first. Yep, as he drew on Christopher Wilde. He's even going to take down my weapon. Wow, another Christopher Wilde. He's destroying all of my durability of my weapon. My god, this is real bad. What's happening? <laughs> I'm losing so many matches here. I just don't know what's happening. So I'm behind now. <laughs> and that, this is not fun. Another Burgett Skillborn. For another damage. Mm. I'm just going to skip it. Play Jewel's Dream. We we'll keep attacking him, taking him down to 5. We we'll just play out our Jasmine, so he has to focus on our Jasmine. Oh, I'm on pretty low, low life as well. Wow, this is, this is really embarrassing that I'm losing from an Shaven, I think. Because I never saw an Shaven deck doing so much damage to me. I didn't draw any blood frenzy, so that really sucks because you really need those cards with the Amber Rain in the early game. But I had a lot of weapons, a lot of jeweler's dreams. Most of the time you get a lot of advantage with, with those cards. But I think I also made the error with playing the Jasmine and the Alden in the beginning of the match. By destroying his Jasmine and swinging in some damage to him. And the turn after he destroyed them all with his ability. Maybe that was a critical decision that I shouldn't make. But yeah, you learn from your mistakes. <laughs> so let's just see what he's going to play. He got seven resources and he does nothing. My god. Why not? He. Why didn't he do anything? Because he's dead now, right? I'm going to give him 6 damage. Well, that's strange. That's all. He just did nothing. He gave me the win. Well, this is just a really strange match. <laughs> and I don't know what's happening with my Amber Rain deck, but we. Uh, every match is pretty tough. And before, I. Uh, it was a lot easier. But well, I hope you liked this match, and uh, don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, and next match again Amber Rain. So, or maybe if uh, some of you have got a request for me to play a different deck, you name it, name it, uh, name the hero, and I'll just build a 40 cards deck around it and play it. And uh, yeah, well, see you next match. Keep it up. Cheers.